I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, for tonight's main event. Scheduled for 15 rounds in the heavyweight division. A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. Everybody expecting this to be a great night of action. Muhammad Ali is on his way to the ring. You can see it in his eyes. You just know he's got that feeling tonight. The Galaxy Warriors on his way to the ring. Boy, he looks confident. We've seen it many times with him through the years, but tonight he's bubbling with confidence. Remember guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. Well, they've been waiting for this moment and now they get it. Round one underway. Unable to land clean by the Galaxy Warrior. What's the worst kind of situation you can get yourself into when you're fighting a guy who you know has superior hand speed? You start thinking too much, Joe. You start second-guessing yourself. You start being a little hesitant. Solid straight right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. That's a bitter hook by the Galaxy Warrior. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Able to dismiss that body shot. Takes a step back, then the counter punch by Muhammad Ali. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. There's the head shot, but he parries it away. He just missed that shot up top. Last 10 seconds of this first round. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. And that's the end of round one. The Galaxy Warriors corner better explain to him clearly why he lost that last round. His accuracy was way off. Well, if you're looking to find chains on the beach, you go out there with a metal detector. Well, right now, we need a punch detector. He needs a punch detector. He needs a jab to find the mark. Don't stand in front of him. I want you to bang the head. Here we go, round two is underway. Unable to connect by Muhammad Ali. Gets rid of that, it was intended for his head. Still not moving enough. The Galaxy Warriors showing that walking stick right now, utilizing the jab. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot.
comes right back at him with a left hand. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by the Galaxy Warrior. You see him zeroing in with that left hand to the body. Halfway through this round. Landing two jabs by the Galaxy Warrior. Locks that punch. That's a huge left hand from Muhammad Ali. Ali's tagged by a hook. Nice block by Muhammad Ali. Teddy, many famous fighters, especially heavyweight champions, are known for their signature punch, like Rocky Marciano and his Susie Q. But for Muhammad Ali, he's known for his signature shuffling of the feet, the Ali shuffle. Yes, he is. And, you know, it makes me think a little bit sort of like if you were going to buy a real fancy car. You know, when somebody wants to sell you something, wants you to believe in them, they give you something first, maybe a band, an entertainment, and then they take you into the showroom. And, you know... Now you're ready to see the car. Well, that's what that is. That's the band. That's the entertainment. And then the show is about to begin. And it's an unbelievable show with those quick hands and those combinations. You're not winning. You're not losing, kid. But you're not winning. And we have to throw more than this guy. We can pull it ahead. We've got to fight. You gotta keep going. You got it? You gotta do it. Come on. Hey, listen. And round number three is underway. Nice jabs there by the Galaxy Warrior. Right to the head with that right. A piercing hook to the head by Muhammad Ali. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. <laughs> Ali's defense is paying off now. Goes up top with the right hand. Now look at him. He does not look good on the back end of that hook coming home. Nice block by the Galaxy Warriors. Final 10 seconds. And that's the end of round three. Hey, relax. Just like that, all right? Another round, just like that. He doesn't like those body shots. Believe me, he doesn't like that, kid. Keep working the body. Take some of that speed. Listen, you need to move your head more. Side to side, okay? I want to see that head. Muhammad Ali is up around here after three rounds on Teddy's scorecard, but really nobody has distinguished themselves to any great amount so far. Go, 
blocks away that headshot. Attaboy. The Galaxy Warriors well off the mark that time. Relax. Looking good. Teddy, why is it in boxing that there are so many distinct styles that are defined by geography or culture or ethnicity, where we have a Mexican-style fighter, an Eastern European, you know, upright fighter, an American-style fighter? Why is that? Because you are influenced by your surroundings, by the temperament of the people in your surroundings. Aggressive people, aggressive style. Very thoughtful people, people that are very cerebral, well, you're going to have a defensive style. You're going to have a very careful style. It's going to fit right in. Hey, 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 let's go! His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. The Work Galaxy the Warriors just not showing me enough offense right now. Is he, I mean, I understand he did get hurt earlier. Yeah, he did. But he still has to put something for it. Yeah, he does. It's kind of like that kid who gets his hand caught in a cookie jar. You know, <laughs> you're not going to give up eating cookies. You still have a sweet tooth. You want to still go back and get that snack. You better find another way. He needs to find another way. Work the left hand to the head. Big shot there. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. One, two, three, four, five. Six. And there's the bell. He is saved by the bell. Oh, boy, Teddy, he's in a world of hurt now. Only 60 seconds in front of him. And you know what? Less than 60 seconds. It took him five seconds to get him on that stool. So right now, okay. they can't concentrate okay. just on telling him things, and he needs to be told why he got hit. But they got to get ice on him, and they got to right now, they have to revive him. Keep tight. Feel good? Come on. You got to give me one more round. He seems fully recovered to me. Here we are, the start of a new round, and a fighter that got tagged hard. In the what an impactful left hand by the Galaxy Warrior. <laughs> left to the body. Showing you some defense there with the block. Incredible jab by Muhammad Ali. And he's holding. The Galaxy Warriors doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You got to block those punches away. Turns over that hook upstairs. Keep working, bud. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Easy body, kid. Body shot. Oh, what a whiff by Muhammad Ali. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Muhammad Ali. Right to the belt line. Ali's done a really nice job of being able to land that back power hand. He's coming in with that straight punch and really scoring well. Yeah, well, he's getting a little bit of help because his opponent keeps leading with hooks in front. The old times would always say, don't lead with a hook from too far in front because the straight punch will find its way inside it. The end of the round has arrived. And now an opportunity for the trainer here to get his hands on his guy. His guy just got tagged pretty good there. And when he looks into his eyes, what is he looking for? Well, first of all, he's looking to see whether or not his guy is still there. You know, he got stunned pretty good. 
And then what he has to do is make sure his guy's listening to him and telling him, hey, look, you got caught. You've been caught before. This is the way we can fix it. This is what you got to do to correct things. All right. The Galaxy Warriors back. Look at him here in the start of this round. Remember, he got tagged hard in that last round. Well, that's the reward you get when you have a good camp and you get yourself in top shape. A stabbing right hand by the Galaxy Warrior. That's it! You see him holding on. Unload! Unload! More punches! Hey, you gotta see that coming. Now, let's go. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Halfway through round six. And he ties up on the inside. Hook, hook. That hook was well off the mark. Now he goes to the gut with a right hand. Last 10 seconds. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. End of the round, and he's had better rounds in the fight than the one we just saw, but still, it's very much there for the taking. Yeah, whoever finishes off strongly in the late parts of these rounds, a lot of times, you know, the judges get mesmerized a little bit here, too. You know, it's a real close fight, and you kind of forgot where the separation was. And whoever grabs the last part of the round, that's who you remember. It's just very important in this kind of fight, finish up good at the end of the round. And we are back underway, another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Sound defense, good block that time by the Galaxy Warrior. The Galaxy Warrior is in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Flush right hand to the body. Hands up, hands up. Little head hunting with the left. Pace yourself. He clinches when he gets to the inside. At the halfway point of round seven. Well played, straight right hand. Another clinch. How about that hook by the Galaxy Warrior? Body shot lands. It was the right. Focus. Fine work with the left hand. He landed well by the Galaxy Warrior. Good step back counter punch there. Beautiful. What a good counterpunch by the Galaxy Warrior. Stop. Left and right, left and right. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, 10 seconds to go. Keep working the body. 
Three minutes gone by in this round. I want to get back into this fight. I gotta keep working. Just keep working. Working that jab. Listen, he's done. He's done. I want you to double up on that jab and finish off with a hook, okay? One, one, two, one, one, two. Looking good. Oh, yeah, looking good. As we start round number eight here, the Galaxy Warriors enjoying a lead on Teddy's scorecard. And Teddy, the other thing is, this is a fighter that is showing no signs of letting up. No, it's up to him. I mean, he could coast home now, put it into cruise control, co-pilot, or go for the gusto. Blocks that belt line well. Uppercut! That was not well targeted by Muhammad Ali. Pace yourself. How about that left hand? Now there's the jab. Good right hand by Muhammad Ali. Ali's got no chance of keeping his opponent off balance. None at all, because he's not moving at all. Maybe he doesn't want to. You know, guys start to deteriorate, not just physically outside, but inside. Maybe he's given up already. And maybe he doesn't want to fall down. He knows everybody's going to see that. But maybe this is his way of getting out of there. He knows the ref's going to stop it. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Good body shot. The right hand came home. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Where's the body, kid? Body shots. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. Well, as that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. Land a big shot. Look at me. Knock this motherfucker out. Listen. Listen to me. You're not working. Back to action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights... That's going to be very hard to score. An accurate left by the Galaxy Warrior. Unload! Unload! More punches! Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Enough focus! A clean, crisp right hand by Muhammad Ali. Back to the body. Halfway through the ninth round, the Galaxy Warriors got that catch me if you can kind of attitude. Did you see that? Muhammad Ali goes down. Ali is down, and his opponent put him there with a precision, perfectly placed power punch. And it's over. Look at this. Ali's not going to hear from those judges. He's a knockout victim.
as we saw, he was up on your scorecard throughout the evening. The Galaxy Warriors now a winner by knockout. Listen, you want to win, you want to get to a title, you want to be successful, but you want to make money. And this is one way to ensure you're going to make money, scoring knockouts. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you soon.